Hello and welcome to another episode of the Able Life Insider Tips. Um, I had the idea for this tutorial because a student of mine asked about it and what he asked was how can I make it possible that when I add stuff to my user library on my one computer it automatically gets updated on the other. And the idea that I came up with for that is by using Dropbox. Of course, if there is another service that works the same way as Dropbox, you can use that as well. That's up to you. So I go to the Dropbox folder now, and then I'm gonna create a new folder and just call it Able Life Library, for example. And then in Life, if you don't know where your user library is located right now, you can go to the Live Preferences and then the Library tab. And then here you see where it's located. And what you would do is you'd copy it to that Dropbox folder here. Just copy it in there. And once that's done, you can simply click on Browse here and then navigate to the Dropbox folder, go in there, and then you'd have the user library in there. And that way, you'd have the user library available here. And if you have another computer, you would do just the same. You would make sure that the new folder appears in the Dropbox folder, and then you would go into the live preferences on the other computer and do the same here with the user library. And of course, the same can be done with the Live Aid library if you have one, or with the packs, the factory packs um, that you can download from Ableton from all the stuff that you actually bought. Yeah, so that's that. Um, I hope you found it helpful, and I'll see you next time. If you're new to Ableton Live or Push, then check out my online video courses. More information can be found on my website sonicbloom.net slash courses.